Let's look at two ways you can duplicate a footnote reference. One method is to use the custom character or custom marks. So on the references tab, I'm going to insert a footnote by launching the dialog launcher and either typing in a custom mark or choosing from the symbols. Because it's just a symbol, if I want to reuse the same sequence or the same character, I can do so by inserting symbols. And for consistency, use the same styles. But if I'm looking to duplicate the sequence number, I'm going to place the cursor after quick style and add a footnote as a sequence number. And I want to recreate that same footnote number one here in this location as well. Now if I just go through and insert the footnote as a, footnote, as a number, it's going to, of course, put in two. Let's undo that with a control Z. So what I'm going to do instead is insert it as a cross-reference to the original footnote. Cross-reference, I'm selecting footnotes to display. And as my reference, inserting the footnote number itself. In fact, I'll do that a couple of times, just so I can keep reusing the same number as many times as I need to. It's not literally a footnote. It's simply referencing the same footnote number. And I'll do the same trick as before. Apply the same style so it maintains the same format. 